Here on the campus at the University of Nebraska at Omaha, you will find many students who are coming of age and beginning to experience life by going out to the bars or nightclubs. However, when it comes to college students going to bars for the first time, usually what they purchase is probably whatever was cheapest. Furthermore, when it comes to the alcoholic spirit of bourbon, most students know about as much as a student like Levi Kiels does. Very little, to be honest. One problem when it comes to students like Levi is they seem to have some preconceived misconceptions on what actually makes for good bourbon. I wouldn't know the difference between either of them. I'd say the most expensive is probably going to be the one that tastes the boldest. However, here in Omaha, there are actually many bourbon enthusiasts, like Paul Williams, who explains how he got into bourbon. I started drinking in college, probably too young, and mostly drinking college guy stuff, so cheap beers and then cheap whiskeys. Paul, who is a member of GLOBE, or the Greater Lincoln and Omaha Area Bourbon Enthusiast Club, not only has an impressive collection himself, but also talks about how he goes about purchasing his own bourbon. Well, I do a lot of a lot of research online in my free time, and I read a couple different books. Paul said that when selecting a bourbon, you should be looking for four different things, which include proof, price, age, and flavor profile. Then, once you've acquired a little collection, that's when you can go out with your new bourbon friends and can really start to appreciate the spirit. Mm -hmm. Meet up with friends, open bottles, open expensive bottles when you get a chance. Go buy a bottle of Eagle Rare, have some friends over, drink it and talk about it. That sounds like a great time to start. For Omaha News, this has been Matthew Burns.